Okay, so today we're gonna make XO sauce, our own version of XO sauce. We have here a dried shrimps. We soak it in water. We have scallop. We also pre-wash it and soak it in water. We have shallot, garlic, and chilies. So this is all the ingredients we need that we need for our XO sauce. Okay, the shrimps, we're gonna chop it into tiny pieces as well. Chop, 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 chop. Okay, so chop it into like this. Okay, so the scallop, we're gonna just separate it. Okay, so when your shallot is as brown as this, not too brown, just light brown like this. Scoop them up from the oil because we're gonna do the same with our garlic. Garlic is smell now. Very garlic is smell.
Okay, I'm gonna put in the dried shrimps. How much? How much? How much? How much? Dried shrimps. We call it at home hebe. What are you calling it? Epi. We call it hebe. Okay, just continue. And now I'm gonna put in the chili. Okay, we only use this much chili because I don't want it to be very, very spicy. I don't want it to be very, very loud, okay? So just this much first. I'm not putting any salt, any any any, um, any soy sauce or whatever. So I'm gonna use one cube of this. Because hama is, is kind of salty, so that's why I did not add any salt. I will put teaspoon of uh, brown sugar. So this is Pino. Yes, baby girl. Hi. Hi. Baby girl. Where is Froggy? Cook your Froggy. Cook your Froggy first. Where's Froggy? Are you cooking Froggy? Where's Froggy? Oh, where's Froggy? Cook your Froggy. This is now our homemade XO sauce. Thank you for watching.